It's going to be a great day. Don't blow it, Diddy. Dear Mr. Murray, we received your biopsy results and unfortunately they are not favorable. We've confirmed that you have the first case of encephalo herniated typhoid in the nation. You will not survive past May 5th, 2012. Please begin making final arrangements at once. Thank you. Rocky Mountain Memorial Hospital. I have just one question. Is it the red or the blue? All right. Yeah. I can't just sit here. I never started a family. My parents are dead. All I have is you, Dirk. I gotta find someone to take over my job. Gotta leave the people of Denver in good hands. Bomb squad. Must be a bomb sniffing dog. Yeah, it is. Hey, look, uh, there's gonna be an opening in my office pretty soon. Would you consider being a, a bomb tech? Oh, oh God, no. But I wouldn't mind doing a story or two. Bomb tech and his dog. I'm a reporter at the local affiliate, and this would be great for TV. That's too bad. I won't be alive tomorrow. Oh, that's too bad. I won't be able to turn around in time. Sorry, see ya. No, you won't. Who am I ever gonna find to take my job? There's gotta be someone out there who wants it. Hey, you. Dirty Dan. You wanna be a bomb tech? Bingo. Sarah. Yes? I have a proposition for you. And that is? Would you like to dismantle bombs for a living here in the Mao High City? Why? I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Excellent. There you go. Well, where are you going? Home. I'm standing here live in front of the federal building downtown where there's a huge explosion that just blasted through the underground parking system. There's only one fatality at this point, and sources tell me it's the newest member of the bomb squad, Bobby Arts. What a day, Dirk. 
how am I here? Dear Mr. Murray, please disregard the notice you received in the mail recently alerting you to your impending demise on May 5th, 2012. It appears that was a clerical error as your biopsy results actually came back negative. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. Thank you, Rocky Mountain Memorial Hospital.